This is just a quick demo of the text effect with the mark collections included. Basically I've set up just a text effect up here and as it is at the moment uh, the trigger is set to none. So therefore all these are exactly how it was before, nothing's changed. So when I play that it's just your standard text effect. Now when you come in here you've got a selection between mark collection and mark collection labels. What the labels does is it uh, instead of using the the text within the text effect, it'll hide that and use the actual labels. So whatever the text is within the, the labels and it'll show up when it hits the marks. So we'll just quickly start with the mark collection. Select on that. Uh, basically you've got uh, default mark selector, so there's two marks there. But as you'll notice obviously we've got you know, four words within the text. So if I hit play now It'll obviously only show the first two because there's only two marks. Basically adding another mark and then show the, the, the three of them and so on. If um, just say you've got more marks than what there are words, you can either have it so it just shows the four words and that's it or you can select the repeat text and what that does is it um, will show these four and then start again until all the marks have been hit. So from here as you see it's got uh, auto fit selected and out, so the duration is auto fit and it's out. So basically it'll fit between this mark and this mark, so it comes on and then fades out, comes on, fades out. Uh, fading in will actually fade into the mark, so it's coming in, hits the mark, coming in, it's mark. And fading in out will basically go uh, half on either side. So fade in till it's marked and then fades out. All right, directions, that works the same as normal. Iterations work the same as normal. Um, then you've got uh, the mark duration. You can use mark duration. So here's your mark duration here. So when you fade in and out, it'll go between the mark duration. So fade in and out and stop at the end. So as you can see there, if I make that small, just quickly fade in and out, in out. Um, you can have user defined, so you know I might set that to. Well, let's go for 648, and we'll just make it fade out because it's easy to see. So hit the mark and then start fading out for just over half a second. So you can change that to whatever you want. However, if you went to say up, it goes up to 10 seconds. But if you went to say four seconds, obviously the next mark's going to hit before that four seconds is up. So it'll actually use. Uh, the next word. So as you see fades out, it's a word. So automatically adjust for that maximum uh, setting. Um, and then obviously none is no. Now if we go to your collection labels, same thing, you can have use define. We'll go mark duration. So basically the Mary will show up between those two, Christmas between those two. And same with fade in and out, it's within the actual duration. Or you can, um, obviously that last one's not showing anything because it has no label. Um, you can go auto fit and it'll auto fit. Oops. So because you're going fading in and out, it fades in from, because it's auto fit, it fades in from halfway between that mark to that mark fades in and then fades out, fades in. So even if you had a small amount, it'll actually auto fit in between those two. And I think that's about it. Thanks.